Hi guys, Jason and Kirk here with Kirk Giordano Plastering. Today what I'm going to show you folks is um, the importance of the right flashing. Say for example, <coughs> this, this concrete slab right here, it sticks out a half inch and it sticks out over there. Why are we, we redoing this wall? Because it rotted out from here on up. So what happens is generally we place a weep screed on something like this, like this. But we can't place a weep screed on the foundation like they did over there. They took this weep screed and they put it on the foundation, went around the house. You can't do that because while or when the rain goes through the stucco, and it will, it'll come out of these holes and then it'll rot out the mud seal. So we're fixing that. Now my son, Dan, he says, well, Dad, can't you just use some caulking? Put some caulking right here and or the grace membrane. You can, but it won't last as long. Uh, maybe 40 years. The idea is we want it to last 100 years or as long as it can. So there's a lot of types of Z flashing out there, guys. Uh, this is a Z flashing for a window. This is a Z flashing. See, it's a Z. And the proper Z flashing for this one here is this guy right here. They come in all sizes and when I looked at this, I went and got the exact size I needed. This is one half inch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this Z flashing right there. That's snug. It's perfect. And I put a staple on it. Okay. Now, I could take my paper down to here, but that wouldn't be right because we're only a half inch out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to counter that with a drip screed. Now this drip screed, I'll place a staple here. A staple there. Now when it rains and the water goes through the stucco, it'll come out of these weep or drip holes and hit the flash in here and drip harmlessly on the foundation. So we do come across this quite often. Anyway, I thought this would be a good example because I promised the fellow who we're doing the job for that we would take our caulking and go around on the other side and caulk underneath where, not the holes, where, where it will drip, but the wood itself because water has been going through there for many years and he doesn't want to repeat this right here where he'll have to tear it all off, resheet it, and what a nightmare it was for him. Anyhow, I hope you learned something there because that's somewhat important. My name is Kirk. I'm with Kirk Giordano Plastering. Thank you folks for watching and as usual, we'll see you guys on the next one.